Hey there guys, it's Griff, and in this video I'm showing you how to make V-Bucks very quickly in Riders Republic. There are a few ways to earn V-Bucks, but what you're about to see is the absolute best way to increase your amount in the shortest, easiest time possible. Now, V-Bucks are what you use to buy stuff. They're the in-game currency that you can earn by completing activities in the game, as opposed to the gold coins, which you have to buy using real-world money. Boo. So if you want the quickest way to get V-Bucks in order to buy items from the store and you don't want to spend any actual human currency in the process, here's what to do. Head to the hub area and enter the Trek Attack mode. This is an online event where you're facing off against other players in a bid to score the highest points total. Points are accumulated across the entire team and whichever team has the most points by the end of the five minute match wins. What we're after here is stars and it just so happens that online trick attack matches are the best place to make them as you get five stars for each match. That's five stars whether you win or lose so you don't even need to be that good. I can't tell you the amount of times I've fallen flat on my face. But it doesn't matter because a defeat gets you exactly the same amount of stars as a victory. <laughs> But hold on, we're after V-Bucks here, so why do we care about stars? Well, that's because V-Bucks unlock when you get stars. More specifically, each rank you unlock along this progression chart are Ward's V-Bucks. The more stars you get, the more you climb up the progression chart, the more V-Bucks you get. So you really need to grind for those stars if you want V-Bucks. And it turns out that trick attacks are the best way to do that. I've tried tried experimenting with all the other modes and trick attack is, in my experience, the quickest way to super stardom. If we take the online race mode, it's much shorter at roughly two minutes long as opposed to five, which is good, but you need to come first to get those full five stars. Second place gets you four stars and third place only gets you three stars. It's not bad, but for me, trick attacks are the safer option since you can faceplant as much as you want and still come away with five stars. And you can even earn more stars if you manage some of the bonus objectives, like achieving two minutes of airtime. That's an extra star right there. Once you've got your V-Bucks, have a nice old browse through the store and buy whatever you fancy. Tops, trousers, outfits, emotes, it's all there. Material possessions really do bring lasting happiness. Oh wait, I'm sad again. So that was how to get V-Bucks quickly in Riders Republic and incidentally how to grind for stars. If you want the end prize of a colorful helmet, you need 7,000 stars so you might as well get started. Thanks so much for watching, leave a like if you found the video helpful and subscribe to my channel for more Riders Republic guides. I'll leave you with some gameplay footage of me playing averagely but still making those all important stars and V-Bucks goodbye. Yeah, I'll mix it.